right, welcome to another Slight Look video. Today we are doing something great for winter time, which I feel, if you're like me and you have some dry skin, especially as soon as it gets cooler, this is a great video for you. We're going to do a very natural dry skin makeup. Um, this is something that I do almost every day because no matter how much I exfoliate or how much I moisturize, there's still going to be dry patches on my skin because that's just the way it is. Um, and especially focusing on, and I know I've talked to y'all's ears off about this, but these are my favorite products, is the CPR Dr. Dart Cream. And I'm also using the Camo Drops in this video. Oh, it's picking up my face, I'm sorry. But these are both great products, great products to use together. All right. Let's get started. All right, first things I'm going to do is bring y'all in very close. Look at my roots right now. They're pretty, pretty dark. All right. Hello, this is my face now. But as y'all see, and I know I explain this in almost all my videos where I use the screams, if I can't not talk about it enough, is I have redness definitely right here. And then as well, I have like what it looks like almost constant beard burn, but I don't have beard burn. If you don't know what that is, it's from some nice with someone that has a beard burn. <laughs> All right, I also have dark circles and I'm gonna show you how I've been working on not using concealer because I get very dry even right here. And I've been using, haven't been using concealer and somehow pulling it off. So let's, let me show you what first I prepped with. Um, this is actually from my Boxy Lux box. It's the LMS um, Pro Collagen Marine. Sorry, my little piece of my dog's hair was on that. It's so gross. Um, Pro Collagen Marine Cream, and this is for in the morning. So I also use it at night, as long along with the whole line that I got from the FabFitFun add-ons. But this is really good light cream. I like to. The reason why I'm not putting it on right now is I like to put it on do other stuff and really let it sink in before you start like piling on makeup. So it's just like a light doing this, but it's not like freshly thrown in. Then doing a lip polish or lip scrub. This is the one I've been using. It's the Apple Mint Lip Polish. And I actually got this from my single swag box, which it's really good. It smells amazing. And I'm not going to lie and say I don't like my lips while using it, even though I think it says specifically not to eat it, but I can't help it. Um, but especially even if you think your lips are very smooth, if you have dry skin and it's winter, <laughs> chances are they aren't as smooth as you think you are, and then you won't figure it out until you're putting on lipstick, and it's all crazy. Um, but, okay, I am officially ready to get started now that I talked about my prep, which was this and this, and especially at night, I don't do it in the morning because my face will get pretty red. I uh, use my uh, clear sonic brush to try to soft off any dead skin, and then I layer on the moisturizer. Okay, these things first, I'm going to hit my face in the spots that aren't as red with the serum. Boop. And I'll get over here. And over here and it's really such a good product and it's so nice and creamy but this is definitely if you don't need as much skin correcting I would use this camo drops the main reason why I got those camo drops is because they went out of this in Sephora and they're like well that's the same thing so if it's more liquidy which is almost the same thing. It's not the same thing though. Don't try to play me Sephora, I know. All right. Now, you don't have to go too like over it. And I'm gonna show y'all how I've been using this for under my eyes and it's been working. Um, but there's like several steps I do for it. All right. And you just smear it in. I used to do a makeup brush with this and why it does like build up more coverage. I did notice like if you touch your face more, um, which I know you aren't supposed to touch your face, but I do, um, I end up with like patches where it'll just like, if you went like that, it'd be like right where you touched, 
if your skin's red like mine, there'd be a little red patch. But I adore how this stuff looks on my face. I feel like I get more compliments using this than whenever I was using foundations. Um, because I have a lot of people that don't believe that I wear makeup. Even though now, due to everything going on at work, I've really quit wearing makeup because I'm like, oy vey. <sighs> All right. I'm putting a little bit more on my nose because my nose is pretty red. And around where like, full redness right there. I'm just tapping it into my face. All right. And now we're going to do the under eyes. As you see, I put a little boop boop underneath both. And what I do is I pat it out underneath my whole under eye area, which this is really great if you've already prepped with lotion, because if I didn't, it would just be sinking in. I have a very, I've always had a very lined, like, under eye. Um, just because that's, that's what uh, was handed to me when I was born. I was a wrinkly baby. <laughs> but I feel like I have more under eye line than, like, a lot of people that get, like, lines around their mouth. I mean, you don't smell enough. That could be it. Okay. So I know it seems a little startling right now because it's all very, very dewy. But it will settle down, trust me. But I'll show you the second part that I've been doing for my under eye, which seems crazy. And I felt like it was crazy, except one day I had like two glasses of wine. I was like, let's try something wild. Um, this is actually for my Tribe Beauty box. It's the Bella Pure Glowing Palette. It's, I'm gonna fold this back so I don't blind y'all, but it's a little highlighting palette and I talk so much stuff about it not being great because it's a very, very, it's not a very bold highlight, at least towards me. And it's not my favorite highlight. It's not, it's not my Tarte that's so smudgy from all my fingers, <laughs> but my Tarte Glow Pro palette, like Pro Glow palette, there we go. But, um, what works with this is I get one of these little brushes, which is, this is something I never even use until I picked it up for this exact purpose, is it's a Luxie Pro Precision Tapered Brush, which is, I don't feel like it's precision anything because it's like such a willy-nilly little brush, but I get some of the lightest shade right here and I just put it right under my eye on both sides. And I do my whole little eyelid in that area and I set it with a highlight, which I feel like is crazy, but it's not that bad. I feel like, I don't know. Let me know if you think I'm being crazy or it looks crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I had to move back one of the, I have like lighting like right off to the side and I felt like it was like right on this under eye. It's still picking it up like a little bit, but it's not as bad like this one position perfectly. Um, all right, now I'm going to bust out this little set also from Boxy Lux, which was amazing. Um, and I'm going to get some of this blush and I'm just going to lightly put it on there because I'm trying not to use too many powders on my face and just pop just a little bit on. All right. And now the reason why this palette out is it has exactly one cream shade in it. And I've been using cream bronzers, especially with my skin being so dry. Cause I was noticing, I used a powder bronzer and it looked like someone had like slapped me and they had chocolate frosting on their hand or something. And so there was like little, cause it was skipping over my face and it looked terrible. And I was so embarrassed cause I had gone shopping and I was like, what? All right, and now I'm just doing a little bit on each side, just a little bit. And now I'm gonna get all the extra off on my hand. Cause this isn't a glam look. This is a natural everyday wintry skin look. Like 
after this. I gotta go Target. I gotta buy a rug. It's gonna happen. And I don't really put a lot of stuff right here, especially since now I have bangs. So this like whole portion of my forehead nobody sees anymore. <laughs> but I try to give it a little something. Now I'm gonna pop a little bit so it looks like I have this beautiful jawline, which I don't. But yeah, fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> all right, there we go. That is all I'm doing with my contour, all that good stuff. Now, the only thing that is the last, I actually am going to use this very pale pink and I'm gonna pop it on right up here just a little bit. And I'm using a very similar brush, but this one's a little more, it's a tapered highlight brush. So it's more just for this purpose. Just popping that guy on. and officially finished with the face, which I feel like I didn't speed up the video, so that's exactly how long is it takes to do all of this while I'm blabbering the whole time. But the next things that we're gonna do, it's like basically we're gonna finish up the eye, and I have this Wonder Beauty liquid eyeshadow, which I know they have tons of these out on the market right now. The other one I have is a Kathleen Lights one. And they're both epic, especially if you use them together. Um, but for me, especially because I even get dry up here and everything will just crease. I've been doing this. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I had a solid sneeze attack. Um, but basically, I cover the whole eye with this Wonder Beauty. And it's such a pretty color that I didn't think I'd like. But it totally is just, I feel like, I don't know. It's not a cool shade to me. Like, because usually when I put on cool shades, it looks like I've been beaten profusely because of, it just brings out all the bluish tones in my skin. Which, since I have blue eyes, that would be great. But when it looks like your blue eyes have been beaten, that's not the best thing ever. <laughs> So I just tap out the top, just nice and lightly, like blending it in. You can also do that with a blush, blush, brush. But another thing that I've been doing because I don't wear eyeliner that often is I've been going under the eye with it and I'll just tap that out as well. Basically, it's all the way around, but I like this shade, especially with my Harry Potter shirt. <laughs> I can't believe this shirt was only $3 on Amazon. I still can't get over that. All right, so basically that's my eye look. Um, I can pop on a little bit from this palette um, for inner corner highlight. I'm just doing that light shade again. like I need a cup of tea and so I need to get a little headachey. I've been one of my things for this year was like not drinking coffee because it's making me a little bit nauseous and now it's just like headache central all the time. It's a hard thing. It's a solid solid addiction in coffee. <laughs> all right now I'm using my glossier boy brow in the shade brown to do my eyebrows. Um, I definitely don't use a pencil when it's winter. I don't often use a pencil because I like the fluffiness of the brows. But I've gotten a few good pencils this year from like last year. Uh, last year in subscription boxes that were pretty good. So I try to use those when I'm going for more of a more of a look. Um, and now this guy, the Climax from NARS, is amazing. And especially because I have to be more aware because you do have a dewier, more moisturized, natural look on. If you put on a very, like, 
don't know if y'all can hear that noise, but there's extremely loud banging noise. It's kind of freaky. Uh, like my It Superhero, It Cosmetics Superhero, um, it will end up like underneath my eye for some reason. Especially if I have a moisturizer on my face, it's also all over my face. It's like it's trying to save me from the, the moistness. Sorry if that word bothers you. I know that that's a trigger word for a lot of people. Me, panties. Panties bothers me. Undergarments also bothers me. I don't know what to call them. All right. Almost done. I always go under my eye with my mascara. I don't know. I just feel like that's the way I started doing it, and so I'll do it like that forever. All right, last is this amazing little gloss. I like to wear more glosses or more um, like blotted lips, like from ColourPop, especially with how dry everything is. But since you exfoliated your lips, you can definitely wear lipstick and not be worried. It just smears because I was talking lipstick all over my face. I feel like I used a lot of Tribe Beauty products that I got sent in this box because this is another one which I got a good color because there are some colors that I would not have wanted. Alright, I really despise that having to conclude this video and there's like banging outside my door. I don't know what, if they're building a treehouse or something? I don't know if y'all can hear that. It's really scary. But basically this is the look and once again, the base is the Tiger Grass Camo Drops and the C-Pair Color Correcting Cream. Both amazing products, both color correcting, both very good for your skin and they do last all day. But um, basically that's how, you know, if this is a concealerless look and I know y'all saw how red my face was before and I feel like now it's very very fresh so if you enjoy these products um definitely the only place you can get this is Sephora don't buy the one on Amazon because I'm telling you I've ordered some stuff like similar products and gotten fakes and I'm not saying anything bad about Amazon it's just all up to the seller and sometimes the seller is not a good person <laughs> but this, especially, I don't know if they still have the kit, the super uh, superheroes kit right now for this, but I know they have another like little line limited edition kit, so pick that up. It's only $52, and this by itself is $52. $52. So you're getting a crud ton of other stuff free. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more from Sightlook, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video.